Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball. Head coach Matt Reiser, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Buddy's Bar and Grill right here in Hammond. The Lions were on the road to take on Sam Houston State, and after dropping game one, they'll be looking to even the series up in game two. Here's the highlights. Lions and Bearcats back at it in game two on Saturday over in Huntsville, Texas. As um, a game that kind of started out like Friday night, Coach. It was very low scoring early on. Yeah, they started their righty, uh, who normally their closer, kind of a funky arm angle, very similar to Mason Klotz for us as well. Uh, you just did a good job mixing up the fastball slaughter, but uh, we actually got to him a little bit later in the game. Uh, you still see this still the second inning, he got in there on God Bold. Um, they did a good job just kind of mixing up the arm angles. You see as we keep beating the ball on the ground, very, very similar to Andro and, and Mason with that kind of sink that he was getting all night. Tate Zeno on the mound for your club. It was good early on. Yeah, it really was. Uh, you know, pitched well uh, all the way up into the fifth inning. Uh, get an unfortunate bounce there, but uh, does a good job of, of eliminating the inning, uh, getting a pop out there to, to end the inning there with two outs, and uh, just had really, like I said, the one in. We gave four runs there in the fifth, and a after the home run, uh, and obviously when you see us again, just he kept beating that ball on the ground. He did a good job moving that arm angle down and, and getting the sink that he needed. Finally, we get something going here with Kyle Settall. Hits a line drive back to the middle there. Does a good job not trying to pull the baseball. You saw on the left, he's trying to pull it. They just beat in the ground. Uh, Kevin Carr does a good job taking away the outer half uh, there with the slider, crowds the plate, and uh, wears one there. So we try to get a little something going. And then we get the first and third. One out. And then had the guy again in the big scoring position, still second base, and we check swing on 0-2. Uh, the guy, you know, got tipped their hats to their guy. He made some good pitches in some big situations. And take it right back to work. You can see with the battle back and forth kind of all night long. And uh, again, here we go, trying to get something going. Fisher does a good job with the, the leadoff walk there. Guyball actually scorches one here in the gap. We thought we were going to get down there for a double. There, center field does a fantastic job of running it down, and uh, Fisher gets back there to first safely. We kind of have a, you know, we go back to it. <clears throat> we do a good job stealing a bag here. So now we got a guy on score position with two opportunities, and uh, this is kind of another one of our base running bunters. Got a guy on score position. We get caught up between second and third. Uh, on, a, on a comeback of the mound. Unfortunately, the very next batter, very next pitch, we get to hit the right field. That, uh, we're also with a scored Fisher there with two outs and uh, still just trying to battle through it, you know, find a way to, to try to persevere. And first and second, two outs. Uh, we go on the pitch. Normally don't see this. Uh, normally don't see a play at the plate. Hoffman's got a hurt ankle and is kind of hobbling around third base there. And a uh, guy makes a fantastic throw. And he, again, you know, finally get the big hit and just <laughs> couldn't get a run across the board. Coach, come up a little bit short in game two against Sam Houston State. And, you know, oftentimes the team that has the biggest inning uh, wins the game. And they had a one big inning and was able to get the victory on Saturday. Yeah, you know, we scored the first run again uh, on Saturday the same way we did on Friday. And, and they did a good job responding. Pluchek comes up, hits a two-run home run, and then they continue to add to it. We, we misplayed baseball. They lay down a drag bunt, you know, base hit in the gap, and, and they score a couple more runs. And we always talk about it. you got to be able to eliminate the big innings and, and don't let it snowball. And I think we did in that one inning. And obviously it was the one inning they got away from us that allowed them to win. All right, let's go back out and check out the game three highlights. All right, back at it for game three on Sunday against Sam Houston State. A little different camera angle here than our previous two highlights as a uh, kind of a bird's eye view from the outfield. But getting something going here offensively early on. Yeah, you know, really liked how we came out. I thought we came out with the right energy all three days. Uh, you know, we got first and third, nobody out. Got bold, drives one there to right field for the sack fly. And uh, we tag up there and, and we've got up a, a one nothing again all three days. We, we took the lead first, one nothing. Uh, obviously, just couldn't hold the leads all weekend. Went with Sean Cannell this week, starting uh, on the mound on Sunday, and uh, gets a, gets a nice pop up here and gets out of the inning. Yeah, you know we really need the big start out of Sean, and he gave it to us. Uh, went went to the sixth, seventh inning for us, and uh, did a good job moving the ball around, keeping the ball down. They were trying to uh, hit a couple balls there, land on a couple baseballs, and they end up. They did get on one of them. Uh, they made one mistake. They hit a two-run homer, take the lead two to one on. Uh, but just uh, did a good job of uh, pitching down in the zone. Uh, again, offensively, we just couldn't get anything going. Uh, this day was a little bit different. You know, the first two days we had 18 hits and only four runs. Uh, this day we just couldn't get the big hit uh, to, to score anybody. 
Sean goes right back to work here. You can see he had everything working. There's this cutter down the way and uh, gets a swing and miss and kept us in the ball game. Uh, at the end of the day, Sam Houston wins it 4-1. to one. Well, unfortunately, the, the weekend didn't turn out the way we wanted it to as Southeastern fans. But the good thing about being a Southeastern baseball fan, this doesn't happen very often, uh, is getting swept. Uh, you got to tip your hat to Sam Houston State. Uh, very frustrating weekend. Jump on top in all three games. Just couldn't get it done. Yeah, you know, uh, again, uh, a little disappointing the way the outcome was. I thought the guys came out right each day. You know, obviously they had the heartbreak on Friday night, and then Saturday, you know, we, we got beat again to lose the series. I thought Sunday again we came out with the right energy. Uh, we, we just couldn't finish the game. We came out, uh, again, couldn't, couldn't score offensively. We only scored five runs the entire weekend. Uh, it's tough to win some ball games. We, we've got to do a better job of manufacturing some runs. Uh, it, and it's more than just hitting. It's more than just getting your base hit. Uh, you saw we had 18 hits and, and only four runs the first two days. We've got to run the bases better, execute better, uh, have some more productive at-bats. And obviously we'll get back to work this week. Uh, like I said, a good thing about it in the Southland Conference is you, you don't let up because right. you never know what's going to happen and uh, you got to get right back at it. All right, let's take a break. we come back, we'll have more for you right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Reiser, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Buddy's Bar and Grill right here in Hampton.